I wanted to try something different today. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to switch between multiple players inside of Unity like this. So yeah, let's get started. So here inside of Unity, I have met this cute looking environment which resides here inside of this empty game object. So it's all in here which is basically these platforms and the walls here and I have met these two players and they both have the same components here so a sprite renderer, a box glider, widget body 2d and a simple blink animation that I created inside of unity so yeah let me just show you how it looks like so here they just blink and fall down to the ground but we cannot move them around because we don't have a movement script so let's edit right now so here I have already created this movement script so let me just show you how it looks like. So I've got this speed, jump force and the animation here so so after n amounts of seconds the blink functions get called here and it just plays the blink animation. So let's go back inside of unity, select both of our players and let's attach this movement script to them. Alright, but if you don't know how to create the movement script you can just check this video out here. Now let's set the speed to let's say 4 and the jump force to 500 and the time to blink let's set it to 3 seconds. Let's just change this jump force to 700. Alright, so yeah let's go ahead and play now. So if we try to move one player, both players start moving. Which gets a little messy and that's something that we don't want. We want to move one player at a time while the other stays put. So if we click on one player it should start moving and the other should stop and vice versa. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So select both our players here and add a new script. So let's call this player script. Alright, hit create and add. And now let's open this up inside of Visual Studio. So let me just tell you how exactly we are gonna go about making this. So I've created this simple drawing to visualize what we're gonna do here. So here are both of our players. Think of it like a movement script. So at any given point, one of the players will have this movement script enabled. And on the other player it will be disabled. So let's say player 1 has this movement script enabled. So if we click on player 2, movement script should be enabled on player 2 and disabled on player 1. So yeah, they both can interact with each other and they can enable and disable each other's movement script. So here we will make a game object which will refer to the other player's game object. So let's call this other player and we don't need both of these methods here. So let's just get rid of them and we will use unity's on mouse down function. So let's write on mouse down. So if we click on one player, it will get the movement script of the other player. So get component movement script. And it will just set the enable state of the movement script to false. Alright. And also it will change its own movement script state to true. So let's copy this. And paste it here get rid of this dot here so now it will set its own movement script to let's change it to true here alright so so when we click on one player it will disable the other player's movement script and enable its own so let's head back into unity and select player 1 here and let's drag and drop player 2 on the other player slot here and for player 2 we will drag and drop this player 1 here alright now let's hit click and if we try to move one player, they both will start moving. And as soon as we click on one of them, awesome, so the other has stopped and this is the only player that's moving. And if we click on the other one, so it starts moving and the other one has stopped. And if we click back on one player one again, so yeah, everything's working. Cool, right? But it works fine as long as there are only two players in the scene. But if we had more players on the scene, like say four or five players, it will get more complicated easily so for that we need a better way to do this so let's go ahead and exit play mode 
and here let me show you what we're gonna do so let's say this is the brain of the game and all the players are connected to this brain and all of them has the movement script but at the start here only the player one should have the movement script enabled while the others two will have their movement script disabled so say this is the movement script and when we start the game the movement script should be enabled for player one here and only for player one so now the p1 is the only player having its movement script enabled but if you want to change the player character so if we were to click on let's say player 2 or player 3 the movement script will be disabled from player 1 and enabled on player 3 instead and in the same way if we were to click on player 2 or player 1 it will just disabled on player 3 and it will be enabled for player 2 here so yeah that's what we're gonna do now so let's get back into unity in here let's create let's create our brand game objects so into hierarchy right click and create empty game object and we will rename this to let's say mind here and reset the transform and let's make a new script here and call this mind script all right now we can just go to visual studio and open this mind script Here let's create an array of the game object that will store all the players. So game object and let's call this players. So it will get a hold of all the players in the game. And a private game object that will store the current player that we are controlling. And let's make this a serialized field so that we can check it in the inspector panel. And also we don't need the upturn method here so so let's get rid of the upturn method and let's make a public method here call it change player so all the players can call this method from the player script and inside of this method we will get the current players movement script let's type in current player and get the movement script component from this player and we will set the enable the state of this movement script to false because we will change the current player to the player that we just touched so now let's go to the player script but let's save this script first and in here let's get rid of all this so delete this and also we don't need this instead make a reference to the mind script here and we will call it mind and when we click on the player here we will call the change player method on this mind script so this will get called here and the current player won't be able to move and then we will replace the current player with this one so let's type in mind.current player oh yeah we also need to make mark it as public so let's go to mind script and let's put a public in here but wait instead of making this public we can also set this as a parameter here of of type game object so let's call this player and here we can set the current player to whatever player is passed to this method so we'll set this current player is equal to player so let's save this so now when the method gets called in here so let's remove this first let's give it a player game object which will be of course this game object so let's type in let's type in this dot game object here so now this game object that we click will be passed on to here and the current player will be changed to the particular player that called this method here and we also need to enable the player movement script here so let's type in get component movement script 
and set the enable this set to true here and make sure you put this in the right order otherwise it won't work correctly and lastly let's go to my script and in the start method here we will loop through all the players so let's make a for loop here so let's put in players dot length and instead of starting from zero here we will start from one so that it doesn't disable the movement script on player one here and we will get the movement script of all the players here so get component movement script and we will just set the enable state to false all right and now let's and now down here we will set the current player to the player on index 0 which will be the player 1 so yeah it is important you disable the best of the players movement script Alright, so so I think we're done here with the scripting part. So let's go back inside of Unity, and here we need to pass on our players. So we have two players currently. So let's give in player one and player two here. And here the current player will show us who the current player is. Now select both the players here and we will pass on this mind script here so let's drag and drop this mind game object inside of this and same for the player too all right let's hit play now so we can now move around player one here and if we click on player two awesome everything is working just fine and we can also select player one back here so let's try to click on this and yeah cool but the best part is we can add as many players as we want and let's duplicate this player 2 here and let's re rename this to player 3 and let's change the position of player 3 to something like this and change the color to i think yellow all right so this looks good so we can just hit play now with player but let's let's just make another player here so let's name this player 4 and change this position and also we will change the color to let's say blue here something like this all oh, right so this looks good let's test this out now and if we try to move player 1 oh this shouldn't be happening so what went wrong oh yeah we forgot to add it to the players array in the mind script let's drag and drop our player 3 and player 4 here so let's hit play and now we can move player 1 and if we were to click on player 4 it will be the only player moving awesome let's try to hit player 1 and because it doesn't have any friction it will start moving on its own without stopping so let's set player 3 all right so yeah we can move around all of our players awesome so everything is working so you can add as many players as you want and you can create a puzzle game with this so yeah that's it for this video we're basically done here let me just show you one cool hack before ending this video so let's exit play mode delete these two players here so now let's select the mine and disable this game object and also there's a script here let's select player 2 set the speed to let's say negative 4 here and test this out now so we have this cool mirror movement here and we could do bunch of cool stuff with this so yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did let me know in the comment section and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until next time see ya